Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I am back with another video for you guys. This one I am playing as the Demo Man on CTF Hunt. Capture the Flag Hunt is a map that I very rarely play uh, and I only rarely played it for the UGC match that I had to play on this uh, map in particular. Capture the Flag isn't my most favouritist game mode but I did choose to so I spent some time to learn this map, figure out the callouts and everything, and it's an interesting capture the flag map. Your intel is pretty much just outside of your spawn, as you'd kind of expect from the majority of capture the flag maps. However, the place you need to retreat for, with the intel to is in the middle of the map, so you have to fight to get the intel, then you also have to fight to actually cap it. And it's really interesting, and me being the idiot that I am in this game, I do pick up the intel, run it back to our intel room, then realise I just ran past where I was supposed to put it. And I'm completely stupid. But <laughs> this video is to kind of explain something, and it's Highlander 6v6 and how to get into competitive Team Fortress 2. Now, I've talked about this uh, a little bit in previous videos, you know, about you should get into competitive, it's good, but I've never really explained why you should and the benefits from it, and also just the incredible experiences that I've received from competitive Team Fortress 2. But if you are completely new to the compet competitive Team Fortress 2 scene, let's start it off with what is Highlander and 6v6. Now, Highlander is 9v9 nine playing so there is nine people on each team and there is one of each class so um, I'm not gonna list through them all you should know all the classes already uh, 6v6 however is slightly different there is only six people on each team and the uh, main kind of standard amount of classes is usually the two scouts two soldiers one demo man and one medic sometimes the scouts will off class to either sniper or pyro or heavy but that's really team based and I'm not going to really go into that much uh, so now you know what competitive team Fortress 2 is and kind of the standards that you can play at you need to find a team and you need to get some practice Finding a team can be kind of difficult. A lot of people think they cannot play competitive Team Fortress 2 because they do not know anybody else that would want to play. This isn't the case because there are forums such as the UGC forum where you can actually find a team and go play with them and build relationships with new people, make some awesome new friends. That's kind of what I did with Pandemonium. You have to remember that Pandemonium... Pandemonium even, where I think one of them was a subscriber and I met them on a TF2 lobby as well and now I'm playing in a team with them. It really is about making new friends through competitive. Uh, so you can find teams to play with through places such as the UGC forum. Personally, it can be kind of easier to sort of make a team and start playing with a team that you already have relations with and you are already friends with. Uh, that's kind of what I did with UCN, but sometimes, you know, it's great to meet new people and that's exactly what I did with Pandemonium. And I keep mentioning Pandemonium, that is the team that I play for in a UGC Steel. You also need to understand the divisions and uh, where you're going to be starting. Each league and tournament does different divisions and they measure them differently. UGC in particular does like uh, silver, steel, uh, bronze, I believe, gold, platinum. Just look at the websites, you'll see that. I know Wireplay, which is a tournament league that I played with UC and do it uh, divisions six through one. So as I said, it's just completely different for different leagues. So just look up on that. Uh, you'll usually be starting at the lowest league unless you have like three billion hours on TF2. Uh, then you're pretty good and you should have already been playing competitive. Um, but you do want to get practice whilst playing and before actually getting into actual matches, you need to find people to play with to start practicing. A great website for this is tf2lobby.com. It's a pickup game match website. It's basically a matchmaking website where you find people that want to play on a certain map on certain servers, and then you just get together and it sends you there. It sorts out all the configs. It's pretty awesome. Just read the about page on tf2lobby.com to find out more about that. Also, check out Sal TV or uh, Fat Mop on YouTube. He actually made a video about pickup games and how you can get into them. There's a couple of uh, chat rooms that you can actually talk about, and uh, you can join there and find some people to play with. You can. There's a bunch of different ways. I do recommend checking that out, and I will leave a link in the description bar down below if you would like to do that. 
So basically that's all I really have to tell you guys about uh, competitive Team Fortress 2. I do recommend if you are somewhat experienced at this game or you think you're ready to start moving into a more competitive field for Team Fortress 2, I do recommend that you do try it out. I personally have met some awesome people through competitive. I've become a lot better at the game just because of I'm playing with higher leveled people and not just people on Valve servers. So my gameplay in itself is improving so I'm enjoying Team Fortress 2 more and it does just make the game a lot more enjoyable. But thank you all so much for watching, mine has been Hayden. If you would like to tell me any of your competitive uh, stories in the comment section below, be sure to do that. Tell me, maybe try to find some people in the comments to build a team with. Maybe we'll make a magical killer cow um, like fan team. I, I, rev I just called you guys fans, I apologise. You are awesome people that watch my videos. Uh, even if you don't like the videos, then you're still awesome. But <laughs> just before I go, I do want to mention slash r slash random active TF2 for any Redditors out there, uh, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash random active TF2. It's an awesome new subreddit that I'm going to be moderating. Basically, you hang around there and a bunch of people give items to each other. You can give out items to them, you can thank them, people will give items to you. It's just an overall awesome thing. And think about this. You just hang around in a small subreddit and you get free hats. That is a win-win situation for everybody. But thank you all so much for watching. My name's been Hayden. If you would like to see more of them, be sure to click the subscribe button below to be notified when I post them. Like, comment, share, favor, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one.